Hello everyone. Wow, there are loads and loads and loads of you. Over 120, 121 and counting. Amazing. That's so great to have so many people on here for a dialogue a training call this evening. Really exciting stuff. We're just going to give it another couple of minutes um, to see because there's still people joining. The number's going up and up. We're on 125 now. 126 actually. Amazing. So, still counting. So yeah, we'll just give it another couple of minutes before we get started. Um, it's great to see some of you are already introducing yourselves in the chat box. So yeah, please do that. Let us know where you're from. And also if you have ever organized a phone bank before, it'd be great to hear uh, if it's something you've done before or something that you've, that you've never done. Amazing. Uh, it's always really nice when we get started to see the comments coming in, uh, see where everyone's based. I like always love hearing about other people's experience. Someone's like in 2017, someone's never done it before. Like that's one of the lovely things about our training calls um, is there's always just such a mix of people from different places, uh, people with different experience. So yeah, brilliant. Same again uh, tonight. So that's great news. Uh, amazing. So let's see, we've got uh, someone from Salford, Someone, someone's phone working from their local Labour Party officer. Loads of people, people from Islington. Well, I was like, hi on the chat box. Great stuff, everybody. Brilliant. We'll get started in just a moment. So now we've got 143 on the call, still going up. Really great uh, experience. Have many people on here used Dialog yet? I'm kind of interested to know that because some people might have, or the newest version of Dialog as well. As, uh, as well. Some people might have used different phone banking before. Um, I've done lots of phone banking I've done. It's been just having like lists in front of me and calling people up. Um, so it's quite new to use apps for it, I think. Um, so yeah, amazing. Uh, and it's yeah. also worth saying that Labour, because you might have had experiences of using Dialogue in the past, um, but they, I think it was Saturday, uh, just, so just a few days ago, it's been relaunched and they've had They've made lo loads of improvements to it and um, it is looking really good. So if you haven't used it yet, you're definitely in for a treat. Ooh. I think we'll, we're now on over 150. There's 155 people now on the call, uh, which is amazing. So I think we'll get started. Um, so yeah, I'll go ahead and kick things off. So welcome again, everyone to tonight's volunteer call. Um, where we're going to be organising to build the biggest but also the most targeted army of phone bankers that's ever been. Um, my name's Emma, I work at Momentum and I'll be moderating the call this evening uh, and I'm also here with Chloe, Hi. Uh, who if you've been on any of Momentum's training calls over the last couple of weeks you probably will have heard <laughs> Chloe already. I'm, I'm recognising a few names <laughs> from the chat box from various different uh, projects we've been running uh, which is always nice. And Chloe's going to be like sharing lots of wisdom later and also giving you a run through um, of dialogue, how to log in and all of that as well. Um, so, yeah, we're obviously now in the full swing general election mode, as all of you are. Uh, you know, socialism is within our grasp. Um, and because now we're at the place in the campaign where we're really starting to build towards the getting the votes out operation. Labour have um, relaunched their Dialogue app, which enables you to make phone calls from home. This is really like a key, po a key point in the campaign where we're going to set out what our plan is to build a huge army of distributed phone bankers all across the country, uh, and also to help you to be as impactful as possible uh, when you're using Dialogue. Um, so before we get going, I'll just quickly run through the agenda for tonight's call. We'll aim to keep it as tight as possible, um, and there'll be a section at the end for question and answers. So if, as we're going through, you uh, have questions that pop up, if you add them into, this, into the chat, we won't be able to answer them then and there, but lovely Santiago from uh, Momentum is going to be collating all of those questions, and then we'll do our best to answer all of them at the end of the call. So firstly, we're going to run through what is a phone bank, how it's a really important part of our plan to win, um, and share some tips about organising phone bank parties. Secondly, we're then going to actually set out a bit of share some of Momentum strategy with you about how we're going to make sure 
that these phone banks that we're organising are as targeted as possible and so that all of the volunteer hours that you put in are as strategic as possible um, to really help us to actually to win this election. After that, Chloe is going to give a, uh, a quick tour inside dialogue, show you how easy it is to use, and then we'll be inviting you to step up and join us uh, in this huge phone bank army that we're building all across the UK. So Chloe, over to you. Amazing. What is a phone bank party? Why is so, it important? Yeah, a phone bank party is really, really important because it kind of combines two really important parts of our election plan. Um, so we know that person-to-person -person conversations are the most effective way to help Labour win. Um, face to face conversations are usually best, um, but we also know that we can't always reach everybody um, by knocking on the door. Um, that might be partly because some of our activists can't go door knocking. Um, and it might also be because some people don't always answer the door. Uh, this is perhaps particularly true uh, at the moment in the middle of winter, um, where it's getting dark a bit earlier. And, and we just know it's going to be a bit hard and isn't something to reach people um, out on the doorstep. And also for, for some activists to be able to head out. Um, like it can get cold, especially in some parts of, of the country. Um, so, so even more than usual, phone banking is going to be like really, really important this time. Um, it is about having those face-to-face -face conversations, which will, you know, really cut through and change people's minds, make them care enough to get them out voting. Um, so yeah, person-to-person -person contact on the phone is going to be hugely important. Um, and phone bank parties are just like taking all that, those parts of phone banking, which are really important, um, and then just spreading that and making it even bigger. Um, so just like we ask people to organize let's go groups so instead of just me heading down to go canvassing i say to a few of my friends oh hey i'm going to canvass this weekend do you want to come too and that means we can end up with you know two times three times four times ten times a hundred times more people out on the doorstep because everybody is mobilizing their friends it's exactly the same with phone banking so actually sitting in on your own and um using dialogue like is really really productive and if you're motivated enough to do that like that's absolutely brilliant um but if some of you like me you know want to also maybe make it into a bit more of a sociable thing so that you actually end up doing it for a bit longer because you're having a bit more fun while you're you're going and then phone banking party is like a really important way to make that happen um so it can be really really simple it can literally just be a question of you um getting a friend or a few friends to over um, and getting together to make some calls um, and that's like absolutely great it doesn't have to be a massive massive thing of when we say a phone bank party it definitely can just start with a few friends um one of my friends are messaging me this evening because he's uh he's hosted his first home uh his first at home phone bank party uh and it's really cute it's just like a few of them around the table uh they, they've got some snacks they're having dinner um and they're just like calling up voters talking on the phone um but also you know like if you're feeling ambitious if you're feeling really committed dedicated determined it could be huge um you could book out a space locally maybe in your local clp uh, maybe in like another community space um and invite people you could add it to my campaign map because our Agile and events feature is now like really, really, really um, going well. We've had loads of people adding, adding their own events. Uh, it takes a little while for it to get moderated, um, but yeah, but you can add it on there. You can make it public. You can share it with loads of people. You get hundreds of people in your area um, phone banking. Uh, and of course, that would be particularly important if you live in a safe seat um, or a seat that isn't one of our target marginals. Uh, because it's a great way, and Emma's going to talk more about this, but the other really exciting thing, which I haven't mentioned yet, um, is how important phone banks can be for us having like these really strategic calls, call-ins um, to help us target key areas. Um, so there's loads of reasons why this is really important, um, and yeah, and there's loads of different ways that you can do this, um, but it is a really, really important thing to do, um, which is why it's so great to have 169 of you on this call now, um, which is absolutely brilliant. Like I told our um, our like head of political campaigns that we had a few hundred people sign up for this for this uh, call, and like she was just absolutely delighted because this is really important stuff, and it's really great to have you all on here. Um, I will going to talk a little bit more um, a bit later about some of the technical stuff, how you're going to use dialogue. Um, and some tips for actually calling. Um, but I just wanted to start by giving that sort of basic explanation of like what we mean by a phone bank party, 
um, and to explain that it's something that I reckon every single 171 of you on this call can do. If you all get together with like two other friends, that's going to be over 600 people who are calling in um, to, or well, almost 600 people, my maths is not that great there, <laughs> um, to be calling in to making those phone calls. Like that's huge. Imagine 600 people out on a canvas. That's so many people. So brilliant, brilliant stuff. Uh, now over to Emma, who's going to explain uh, some more bits in detail. Brilliant, thank you. Yeah, and I think it's also just worth emphasizing that this is the key time in the campaign to really be doing this because by the time we get to polling day, we obviously want to have identified as many Labour voters as possible. And the key purpose of the so, so Dialogue Labour's app is linked up to the voter file. So you'll be calling members of the public in these different constituencies and identifying where Labour support is. So obviously that's just like a core fundamental part of the electoral strategy so that on polling day activists are going to know exactly you know whose doors to knock on uh, in order to to get the vote out on that day um, so that's the kind of overview we want to talk a little bit now about specifically how momentum is planning um, to help you make your calling as impactful as possible when um, you log on to Dialogue, Labour's app, which we'll do in just a few minutes, it gives you a list of like every constituency in the country, um, which, uh, so you know, you could call at like, your local area and make calls in your area. That's, a, you know, obviously a good thing to do because you're going to be most familiar with the local issues. However, if you live in a safe seat, in a safe Labour seat, that's probably not going to be the best use of your time. And there'll be other areas um, like particularly outside of the big metropolitan areas that really struggle to get activists out um, on the doorstep. And this is really where we can help those constituencies out as much as possible, you know, particularly rural constituencies or, you know, places where it's really difficult to go door knocking because the houses um, or accommodation is really sparsely populated, it's spread out. Uh, you know, it takes, you have to have a car to get there, all of those sort of obstacles. So what Momentum is planning to do is help you to coordinate and target your efforts as effectively as possible. So we've got two suggestions for you, uh, two things that we'd, that we'd like you to do um, to help us put this plan into place. So the first thing, if you haven't already, we'd like you to sign up to the Activist Alert broad, WhatsApp broadcast list. So the activist alerts are for like key organisers like yourself, uh, like yourselves, who are you know right at the centre of Momentum's campaign. Uh, the activist alert we will send out every week. What are the key constituencies that we know need a bit of TLC, right? Need some extra people calling into them, and we'll give you those recommendations so that then when you are logging into Dialogue or organising your phone bank party and getting a group of people to log into Dialogue. It will give you a sense of where in the country to call, you know, where you can make the most impact. So that's the first thing. We'll be posting the, the um, link to sign up in the box in just a moment. And the second thing, which I'm really excited about, because we've got the first one tomorrow, is that we're going to be organising regular virtual phone bank parties. And these virtual phone bank parties, there'll be events on Facebook, uh, which will, so we've got one that's happening tomorrow at six o'clock. Uh, and we're encouraging all Momentum members to start calling together. So even though you'll be scattered around in every corner of the UK, uh, you'll be calling into the same constituency. So we're starting tomorrow with Moreland uh, and Outward as a key target marginal that we know needs some support, um, you know, to, to identify where the Labour votes are. And we'll be, keep an eye out because we're going to, every few days, we're going to be doing another um, virtual phone bank. So those are two key ways that you can, um, that Momentum is going to support you to make sure that your phone banking is as effective as possible. And um, we're going to post the links in now. I'm seeing if they've gone in. Um, I'm hoping Santiago is, uh, who's our, our expert on text. Like, there we go. He's, he's, he's on it. He's all over it. Links to the broadcast are coming out. Uh, links to the Facebook event will be coming out soon. Um, so absolutely brilliant. So yeah, check out the chat box just to remind you if you haven't got it open already. Uh, the chat box, if you're on a Windows computer, it will come up at the bottom of the screen. Um, if you kind of like hover your mouse over the screen, 
um, a little icon will come up, which is in the shape of a speech bubble uh, with some dots in it. And if you click on that, the chat box will come up. Uh, apparently on uh, an iPad, somebody told me that it comes up on the top left. So it might come up on a slightly different pay place depending on uh, what, what sort of screen you're using. Um, but have a sort of like look around and hopefully somebody should find the chat box. So get that up if you haven't already because those key links, uh, an invitation to our broadcast list, um, and also the invitation to the virtual Facebook event um, is, is also coming up now. Um, so that's absolutely brilliant. Okay, amazing. Um, super excited. Actually, I'd really like to hear uh, who thinks they will be able to join tomorrow at 6 p.m. for our virtual phone bank. It would be really, really, really good uh, if people could just post in the chat box if they think, yeah, I'll be able to make that. And, you know, sign up now. Um, click that link to the Facebook event and uh, get signed up already. Brilliant. Loads of you saying you're going to make it. Fantastic. We'll keep sending the links. We'll also send you a follow-up email. Um, one thing to say about the broadcast list is you need to open the link to that on your phone. Um, so it can be easier to um, to type in the bit.ly. Uh, if, if I think I think it was a bit.ly link. Um, I think I saw correctly. Uh, it can be easier to type that in your phone and then you can get signed up straight away. Uh, sometimes it takes us about a day to add you, um, but you will be, be added very soon. Okay. Amazing. And we will definitely, oh God, just to say, yeah, we'll definitely send you an email after the call, which has got all of the, all of the links and follow-up material. Yeah. In. So, so yeah, don't worry about that. Too we, we always waste through so much stuff on the call and um, we always put the links out. So they're there if you want them. And like with the Facebook event, it would be so cool if we came on this call um, and, you know, maybe like a hundred of you up, 177 on here have already signed up. Like that's always really exciting. Um, but if you don't manage to get the links in time, don't worry at all um, because we will be able to share them to you very, very soon. Um, so now I'm going to try and give you the live dialogue uh, tour. Um, so let's see, let's see how this goes. Um, what I've done is I've already set up my account. Uh, and the first thing you need to do uh, when you want to use dialog is to uh, make a, an account. So I've actually gone to that bit of the uh, Labour Party website. So you go to the website, which is literally, uh, it's called dialogue.labour.org.uk. Uh, um, so you go to that and then it asks you to log in with Labour. Now I've already set up my Labour account so I can log in with my email address and I've got my password. So I'm good to go. Um, but that's only because I've used Dialog already. If you're using Dialog for the first time, you'll need to activate your account. Um, so log into all your Labour digital services of one account. If you remember, you can activate your account today. It's, it is actually really easy. Um, so you click through to activate your account. You then need your Labour membership number. Um, now, some people, like I know there are some people who are members of Momentum who aren't Labour Party members. Uh, and I know especially if you're hosting phone bank parties, you're trying to get new people involved. So you may well be inviting people who are not yet members of the Labour Party. Um, what I would suggest is that you just say to them, uh, look, it's an election. It, we've only got less than a month to go. Just sign up for a month. It really doesn't cost very much to join for a month. And actually, it's really good for Labour. Like, it's great for us in terms of like press um, and kind of like campaigning if we have that big surge in members. Like, it's the best time to join during an election and if they decide it's not worth it like they can always leave afterwards and um, so actually it's kind of like a good a good excuse to do some uh, labor party recruitment on the side and um, so yes yeah, so you need your labor membership number now some of you are probably really organized you probably like memorize your labor membership number off by heart uh i definitely hadn't um i'm i was like i don't know where my labor membership number is uh fortunately it's quite easy to find it go to your email Literally, if you type in top of like, of like your Gmail account or whatever it is, Labour membership number, it should come up. What happened to me was a list of kind of key emails from the Labour Party come, came up. And there was one that said like, welcome to the Labour Party. And it's from Jeremy Corbyn. Um, and that was literally for me, that was where my Labour membership number was. So um, yeah, search Labour membership number in your Gmail and it should come up. Um, you could also search welcome Labour Party because I think most people when they start, although I did think this because some people might have been a member for like 30 years or something. So theirs might be a bit different, um, but you should be able to find your email. There's also an option uh, which says, please contact Labour membership at labour.org.uk or call us. So if you can't find it and you're having issues finding it, don't worry. You'll definitely be able to get your number if you contact there. So lots of different ways to get your Labour membership number. Um, somebody's accidentally started drawing on the screen, which can happen in Zoom calls. Uh, let's see how quickly Santiago can fix this minor 
minor tech problem. Let's see, let's see if his skills are up to it tonight. Uh, if, if, if they are, then uh, I, I apologize. <laughs> Um, but also, please just ignore the red lines. Uh, just a little, a, a little accident that can occasionally happen with Zoom. Uh, so yeah, <laughs> amazing. Um, so find a labor uh, membership number, type in your email address, and then literally it will recognize you as a labor. It will ask you to set up a password, follow a couple of steps, and then you will be ready to go. So I'm now, hopefully this will go perfectly, um, which is dun, 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 when you are logged in. So once you're logged in, which I've done uh, using my actual email, um, then you will really easily come up with this homepage. Um, so I'm gonna just show you a few different features which are really important. Now, uh, you can see here that I've made eight calls, made eight responses recorded. So there's a nice little sort of like way of mapping there, um, how many calls you've had. Um, but what I actually want to show you straight away is if you keep scrolling down, there's quite a lot of really helpful information. Um, so particularly, I would really, really recommend this video. Oh no, this was working a second ago. Um, but there is a video on there, which I, I think it might not be coming up because I'm on Zoom. Um, but there's a video there which you can use. Uh, there's also a guide there. Um, and when I checked that video, literally 45 minutes ago, um, it was working. Stop and share the screen oh, again. interesting. Apparently, uh, apparently the screen's frozen. I've just seen that. Oh no, that's really interesting. I wonder why that is. Um, yeah, I'm going to try again. Uh, let's see if it works. It might be that it doesn't like me sharing dialogue um, because the app might just be set that you can't. Uh, let us know in the chat box if that is working. Uh, and is it, it's okay now? We're working now, We're working now. Brilliant. Well, hey. I, I love the chat box. It's always giving us that useful information that we need. Like I wouldn't have known otherwise it wasn't working. Uh, anyway, so I mean, I feel like it's it's pushing it to expect the video to work. I think that might be why it froze. But if you click here, then it takes you through to a really detailed video. So I was I was actually like feeling a bit nervous. I was like, am I going to have to show everyone how to use dialogue live? Um, what if I get somebody on the phone who really doesn't want to speak? Uh, that can happen. Uh, something like that. Uh, or what if it just takes me ages to get through to somebody? Uh, what if something goes wrong? But then I realized that the Labour Party have got an incredible video, um, which is um, which is really, really, really good. Uh, so you can use, uh, you can just click there and watch the video and it will show you it in loads of detail. Really, really, really great. Um, there's also a user guide, which is also really brilliant. So yeah, uh, loads of really useful information about the technical side of it. I am going to show you it very quickly. Uh, I, I, we were thinking about doing a live call. We could potentially try a live call. We could potentially. Let's let me know how much demand there is. Uh, I could potentially try it. We'll, 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 let's see if you can persuade me. Let's see if you can persuade me. Um, anyway, I definitely will show you just quickly how how to do a live call. Uh, so to do a live call, you literally just um, click on call voters and you choose an area in calling fat. Shall we go into what's the uh, what's the area we're calling tomorrow night? Is it uh, Moreland and Moreland. Outlet. Should we try that? So you type in M O. Uh, so it's M O R E. Oh yeah, sorry. Um, More. Is that the one? Unless I've spelt it wrong. Let's well, see. it's alright. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do the marginal that is very near my oh, hometown. Morley. Morley. M -O -R -L. Should we do it? Should we try Morley? This okay. is where we'll be calling. This is where we'll be calling in tomorrow, which yeah. I think would be in nice Yorkshire to try. Canada. In Yorkshire, fantastic. Okay. All right. So I'm going to show you how it works. So you click on there, and you literally click start calling Morley and Outward in Yorkshire. Uh, now, this bit at the top is probably the main, this panel here is probably the main thing um, that you need to look at when you're using, um, the main thing you need to look at when you're using, um, when you're using dialogue. So this panel at the top, basically tells you how you are with your call. So you can see that it tells me to connect. Um, and then it comes up with the uh, dialogue option. This means you've connected to dialogue. Uh, and then when you want to actually call the contact, you click there to call. Um, so yeah, that's basically how that works. Um, can I just chip in quickly? Yeah, yeah. So just if you scroll back up to the top. To the top, yeah. 
So it's worth just pointing out that in order to do this, you'll need a laptop or computer or desktop and a phone. Yeah. So you do need both really, because you'll have your, on your laptop or your computer, you'll have the, um, the website up. And then after you click connect, because it will ask you to put your mobile number in, Dialog will then call your phone. Uh, so you'll answer your phone and then it connects you through to the person that you're speaking to. So it, the calls don't cost you anything at all, but you will need obviously a phone, a laptop or a desktop computer and obviously an internet connection yeah. as well. Brilliant. Those things are so important. Um, and so thank, thanks for reminding me about those because also the other thing I was going to say is I really, really, really recommend the hands free set, like a simple pair of headphones um, that's got a, a little mic in, involved. Basically, like if you're doing one call, it's kind of fine to hold it like this but because you want to be using the computer as well. Um, it really is. Um, it really, it really does make it a lot easier. Um, somebody's saying, yeah, use a landline if possible. Like that is true. It is cheaper for the Labour Party if you want to use the landline. Um, but if you are, and also landlines are kind of a bit more comfortable to hold because they're a bit bigger. But if you are going to be using your phone, um, then uh, then it should go. Okay, lots of people are asking me to uh, are asking me to do a call. Do you reckon I should? Should I try one? All right, I'll again. try it. I'll try it. We'll show you how it works. Um, so I'm going to be calling somebody called Jacqueline. Um, so first thing you do is you press the connect button. Uh, not lots will happen for a while um, on average, which when you think about it, that's probably quite higher contact rate per like per hour than door knocking. And um, but you know maybe that was maybe that's been lucky when I've done it. So um, yeah, we'll find out. Um, but yeah, um, definitely, definitely, definitely time on the Facebook event. I've just been on. I've seen that uh, not that many of you from this call have signed up yet. So I'm going to ask all of you. Uh, to literally click the link now, uh, click interested, click attending. Even if you can't make it, click interested because it means that it will start to come up in other people's, um, you know, uh, news feeds and stuff. We've only just um, made this event. So share it, share it in your Let's Go groups, all of that. Uh, are some of you, quite a lot of people not on Facebook. Are there any people on the call who are on Facebook? If you're not on Facebook, then you should still be able to join for the live stream, shouldn't you? Um, somebody perfect. said the link isn't working for them, which is no good. So maybe I should also just recheck the, no, that's not it, that's my, uh, I'm going to reshare the link just in case it's not working. Oh yeah, it's working for some people. So I've shared it anyway, um, again, just in case not. Um, so yeah, somebody else had a good interesting question, which was how young, uh, how old do you have to be to phone bank? Because somebody's son who was, I think quite young, about 12, wanted to help. Um, mm -hmm. And I, I wasn't sure about that one, but I thought like, I, so in my, in my, well, we both once, once were private primary school teachers. Um, and to be honest, like, I think, you know, if, if it's somebody who is really articulate and able to do the phone conversation well, and who feels confident, then I would be, if, if you as a parent, I think it's for you as a parent to make that decision. Um, so yeah, amazing. I think the um, only thing to say is because you have to be a Labour Party member. So it's whatever the age is mm. that you can join the Labour Party, which I think is maybe 14. 14. Yeah, I so I'm 14. guessing that would probably be the, yeah. the youngest age. A yeah. couple of other um, good questions. So we'll run through the ones that Santiago has um, collated and sent to us. Thank you, Santiago. Uh, so someone said, do you have to have a PC and a phone? So yeah, you do need to have um either a laptop or a desktop i think it does work with some tablets but it um i've been advised that it's better to use a, a laptop and de or desktop if possible but it's worth giving it a go um, on a tablet and then you will need a phone because the way dialogue works as we saw earlier is that uh, you put in your number it calls you and then it connects you through obviously it's completely um you know that all the data protection laws are um are obviously upheld um, and it's GDPR compliant. So there's no data, you're not going to be receiving anybody's um, phone number, you'll just get their their name. Uh, can I, yeah, you were gonna, you've seen that too. Okay. You, yeah, so the next question, maybe you can answer it, is does it cost me anything? Um, it doesn't cost you anything, it costs the Labour Party. So that one's on, that one's on, that one's on us, or not really us because we're momentum, but you know, Labour Party uh, pays for the calls. So you definitely don't have to worry about that. But the, someone on the chat box did make the good point, obviously, if you can use a landline, that will keep the cost down for the party. It means party have got more money than to spend on other things. Um, can I use a foreign number? Now, this is a really, really good question. And I'm pretty sure that, unfortunately, the answer is 
No, I, I'm pretty sure that you have to be um, within the UK in order to use Dialog. This is different, however, for Momentum's calling app, um, Call Hub, which uh, isn't obviously linked up to the voter file. So Momentum have its own call, have, uh, using Call Hub. Maybe some of you have used that already. Um, and we've been using that to do member to member calling, sort of mobilization calling. So Momentum members calling other Momentum members to encourage them to campaign or canvas in particular marginal seats. So if you're not able to use Dialog because you're a Labour member that's based out of the country, um, then that would be another option for you so that you could still really contribute to the campaign um, using Momentum's call hub. So we'll put some information about that in the email that we send you all shortly. Um, and I think those were the main questions that Santiago Yeah, sent. the other, do you talk about the Facebook event? So lots of people said, that, and I've just checked it, the Facebook event does have the wrong date. It's been set for today, but that's fine because it will be really easy for us to change it. Yes. Um, so as soon as we get off the call, we're, we will, uh, like, I'll, I'll ring up our, um, like, the member of the team who's in charge of Facebook events, and we will just get it changed tomorrow. So please do still click going, click attending, um, and then we can, we can change it over, and it, it should not affect the event at all. Um, but thank you so much for spotting that because we totally missed it. Um, so thank you. And lots of you were doing a great job of flagging that with us. Um, a couple of other tiny, tiny, tiny little things was somebody said it clashes with a couple of other things. Like, you know, obviously with these online events, um, we may, potentially will have, like with real life events, have more than one at once. Um, you know, do the thing which you think is going to be, help you contribute best towards getting a Labour victory, because that's what we're all doing. There's always so many different things we can be doing. Um, and if you think like going joining the manifesto call will give you more confidence on the doorstep is really important. And that's great. There's also an online legends call, which uh, somebody pointed out, which is really well spotted. Um, but I'm wondering if maybe we can tie them up together because that's at six. Mm. Maybe we could all join that afterwards, which would be really lovely. Um, so yeah, amazing. I think we basically, um, oh, only other thing was somebody said, is all this info online? Uh, Yes, lots of it is in the label, in the guides and video on the website, like lots of technical stuff is. Um, and we'll also send a follow up email, which will have bits in it. And um, we can also send a nice link to this video uh, in case you want to share it with anybody um, and in case you found it useful. But to be honest, the Labour Party video for like actually literally just how to style it is also really, really useful. Um, so yeah, hopefully we've answered some of your questions. If not, get in touch. Um, and hopefully we can answer them soon. Uh, one of the really nice things about all doing it tomorrow will be that there'll be a bit of a community on the Facebook event, um, which will mean that you can have conversations about it there. Um, sorry for people on Facebook, um, but hopefully, you know, do a party with somebody who is on Facebook. Uh, you must have like some friends who use it and then you can link up together. Um, so yeah, uh, I think that's everything from everything from me. Hopefully we've yeah. answered most of your, most of your questions um, and just thank you so much. It's like so incredible. We have so many people who are so committed to uh, activism. Every time we do a training course, so many people come through. And I think it just shows like how many people there are out there who are taking uh, this project like so seriously and who are just so determined um, to do everything they can to get a Labour government. Um, so yeah, happy campaigning. Great. Thanks everyone. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye.